We're going to bring you some distressing details now from the trial of the nurse Lucy Letby, who's accused of murdering seven babies and attempting to murder ten others. Today, the court heard from a mother of twin boys who witnessed one of her babies die. She told them she had trusted Letby completely because she was an authority who knew better than her. Well, our reporter, Bradley Harris, was in court today. Bradley, good to see you this evening. Can you take us through what you heard? Hi, Tessa. Yeah, well, today the prosecution have been giving evidence uh, about two twin boys. We're not allowed to identify them for legal reasons, so they were referred to as child E and F. And now the parents of these children have been giving evidence in this trial. In court, the mother confirmed the twins were in good condition when she was asked about the state of the birth. We also learned how the twins had been born prematurely, with Lucy Letby being the designated nurse for both boys. The court heard about one particular night when the twins' mother, who was also an inpatient on the postnatal ward, decided to visit her two sons in the neonatal unit. It was then when Childie's mother told jurors that she could hear her son crying as she walked into the room. She said, it was nothing like I feared before. I walked over to the incubator to see he had blood coming out of his mouth. I was panicking because I felt like there was something wrong. Well, in court today, the mum described child ease crying, saying it was a sound that shouldn't have come from a tiny baby. I can't explain what the sound was. It was horrendous. Um, Bradley, what were the defending arguments in court? Well, Benjamin Mize KC, who's defending Lucy Letby, suggested Childie's mother was confused about the timing of the incidents and that when she spoke to the midwife after the alleged attack, she didn't describe her baby's crying in the same way. In court, the mother responded saying, I disagree. I knew there was something very wrong. Mr Mize went on saying, I'm not going to suggest that Child E was not upset when you went down. I'm going to suggest he was not as upset to the degree you described. It was not as bad as that. She replied, it was horrendous. What more do we know about what happened that night? Well, the mum returned to the neonatal unit where the medical team were working on child E but were unsuccessful in their resuscitation attempts. The court then heard how Lucy Letby had asked the mother if she would like to bathe child E after he died. The boy's mother was trying hard to hold back tears in court today, saying, I was just broken and I couldn't. Lucy Letby bathed him in front of me in the neonatal unit. She then broke into tears, saying, after he was bathed, he was placed in a white gown. He was given back to us and put in his incubator. And that is where he stayed. Lucy Letby has been charged with murdering seven babies and attempting to murder ten others between 2015 and 2016. She denies 22 charges. The trial continues. OK, Bradley, live in Manchester. Thank you.